Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to see how 3ds Max 2017 looks like on the first glance. So as you might have uh, seen, Autodesk decided to release their uh, latest iteration of 3ds Max 2017, and I would like to make a video which is not going to be a tutorial per se, but it's actually going to be what you can see when you uh, first start up Max 2017 and what has changed. So first things first, when you open it, uh, you're gonna notice a few things. And the first thing that I actually notice is that all of the colors and all of the menus that we can see here, they're starting to resemble Maya quite a lot. What I mean by this is, for example, if you see how all of these menus look like now and for example let's uh, just drop in a box you're gonna be you're gonna see it even better the way that all of these uh, menus look like they resemble how Maya uh, looks like so for example let me show you something here we have all of our menus collapsed and now look at Maya when you open Maya uh, on this side, where the attributes editor is, for example, if you drop in a box, you're going to notice one thing. We have the same exact way that the menus are looking like. So when you open it, you have the same colors. Uh, when you take a look at how the grayed out um, uh, fields look, they really resemble how Max's grayed out fields look. And in the previous versions, they were pretty much just black. So that's the first visual cue. The second one is you're going to see a lot of, uh, well, orange and bluish color. Again, really, really uh, resembling Maya. So my guess is they're trying to either make transferring from Max to Maya easier or, well, who knows. So, visual cues aside, let's see what else they've changed in 3ds Max 2017. The first thing that I actually like to do, and I've been asked this on a couple of my videos, and that is how to add the modifier tab here. Uh, what you want to do is go over to configure modifier sets, show buttons, that is going to show you those uh, buttons you can go ahead and configure modifier sets and then just dr uh, drop in whatever modifiers you need from here so that's the second thing i do whenever i install a new version of max and then well here is another thing that kind of goes in my nerves when they go with um any, ver any version after 2015 and that is this selection um, blue line it's it's kind of okay if uh, you're accustomed to it but it kind of goes on my nerves so the way to do it is go to customize preferences and in the viewports actually nope actually yes yes in the viewports you uh, hit the selection preview highlights as soon as that is uh, deselected click OK and there now it's gone and no longer in the way so that's that thing done. The other thing that I like to do is uh, take this uh, here, the Scene Explorer, since I don't use it quite a lot. And if I have to use it for something, I just simply dock it off and put it on my other screen, which is yet another uh, nice tip. If you don't use a second screen, you might want to think about it because it can really help up with your work as you have a quite a lot more to work with all right so let me close this up and let's continue next thing that we want to take a look at would be probably the material editor so by pressing the m you open up the material editor which really hasn't changed quite that much because well as you can see we get the slate material editor you can open up the compact material editor, which is something that I uh, do prefer working with, which probably is a bad idea as all the new softwares are more or less using the other way, like the slates. So 
once you're here, you're gonna notice the same kind of uh, menus like uh, we have all over Max now, which is the Maya menus. So not much has changed there. And well, the other thing that I do know that has changed is rigging in Max. They've added some uh, options in which you can, um, well, get better uh, at weighing in uh, rigs. But since rigging is my Achilles heel, so I haven't done it that much in Max, if I need to rig anything, I would probably go to Maya, but if you are good at rigging, then uh, be my guest and do make a video about the novelties that uh, 3ds Max 2017 brings. What I do want to note is that with 2017 of Max, we get something else. We get a new rendering system. So by pressing the F10 or the render setup, you're going to open up the setup for our renderings. So here, by default, in the renderer, when you once you open it, you're going to notice something. We have a few choices to add here. And what's novelty, what's new in 2007, uh, 2017 Max is the addition of the art renderer. So this is a new rendering solution they have. And you're going to notice another thing, the lack of mental ray. So by default, mental ray is no longer installed. So if you have uh, mental ray in your work pipeline, you might have to install it separately as it does come with the program, but you have to uh, install it separately. Since I don't use mental ray, I didn't bother installing it, but it's, men it's worth mentioning. So if you are using mental ray, make sure you, you install it separately. The art renderer is a new render from um, th uh, Autodesk. And well, as it is right now, I don't really know how it works. Yes, I said it. I still don't know how it works. I'm going to have to like play around with it, see what, uh, what can, good can come out of it. And well, after the uh, art, you have NVIDIA iRay, you have NVIDIA Mentor Ray here. So, pretty much that's all the uh, small changes you can see uh, at first glance. Now, the next thing or the big change that I'm actually happy about is the unwrap option, but for it, I'm actually going to go ahead and make a separate video as I want to unwrap a more complicated model. I don't want to cram it up in this video, especially because I know one thing. Max just released and it's full of bugs. So it really, really likes to crash. Like before I made this video, I was trying to play around with the options. I got Max to crash four times. So here's another word of advice. If you want to uh, use Max 2017 for your work, don't. Uh, don't switch right now because it still has a lot of bugs. So you've been warned. All right, so that would be it for the quick UI uh, overlook and the introduction of the art renderer. In the next video, I want to go ahead and show you how the UVW unwrap has been made or how it has been revamped for uh, 3ds Max. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and come over and see me in the other video. All right, bye-bye.